All right, gang, I have a Thursday morning editorial for you. Um, I said it in a video last night, a cop watch video, but I'll say it again here on this editorial. Someone asked, why do you need that big ass mic, dude? Uh, because it amplifies my voice in the video. Um, before I was using the mic, I was using my cell phone microphone that's in the iPhone. And some people were saying my audio was low and they could barely hear. They go, man, if you turn up your audio, we could hear you. So I started using this microphone because it amplifies my voice and blocks out all the background noise so that you just hear me talking. And so that helps you guys. It really does. And it's always good. If you're going to do a video, it is good to have an external mic that will amplify your voice and bring it into the phone through the microphone a lot of times when you use your iphone mic or your samsung mic or the microphone that's in your phone uh, it does pick up the background noise and sometimes it can lower your voice in the audio as you're talking or if you're far away from the phone it's, it's get back here you know so use a microphone external mic and it amplifies your voice that I hope I'll answer your question. Uh, I don't mind the question. That was a great question, by the way. But that should answer it. We're going to talk a little bit about a uh, some police officers that did something. Maybe that is a little questionable. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. I am going to put a link to this story in the video box, uh, the description box below. Uh, if you click the little black arrow, the description box drops down. You will see the link to this story. Comes out of Miami, Florida. And uh, there was an altercation, I guess, and police showed up a uh, guy to a house. A guy's or girl's boyfriend was filming the police and they didn't like it. But I'm going to give you the story. And if it's not in here, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of commentary as well. And see what you guys think about it afterwards. Let's move on. Miami, a 30 year old man who was arrested over the weekend in Miami's Overtown neighborhood feels the three city of Miami police officers involved in his arrest went too far. Cell phone video taken Saturday shows several officers speaking to the man who is holding the camera. This man was identified in his arrest affidavit as Emmanuel David Williams. In the video, you can hear officers telling Williams to back up and go to the sidewalk. Despite him being vocal with the officers, Williams does listen to their commands while continuing to film the video shows. Then one of the officers smacks the phone out of Williams' hand, yelling something that sounds like, enough with the phone in my face. Williams was then taken into custody. According to the arrest affidavit, officers were there because Williams' ex-girlfriend called police to escort her to their apartment so she could retrieve some of her belongings. The affidavit states that Williams showed up and was behaving belligerently and causing a disturbance. He was arrested on charges of disorderly conduct and resisting an officer without violence, both of which are misdemeanors. Officer Kania Falat, a spokeswoman for the police department, said in a statement, quote, the city of Miami Police Department is aware of a cellular phone video surfacing on social media showing our uniformed officers involved in an arrest with a suspect who was filming. Our internal affairs section is also aware and investigating the circumstances that led up to the video, she says. So their internal affairs for that police department is doing internal justification to show how the officers did right. Of course, you know, guys know that we've investigated our own and we found no fault. <clears throat> um, but there is a video in the story that I'm putting in the description box below. If you click that link, you can see the actual video. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, I'll just run through the video real quick of what I saw. They're telling him, get back on the sidewalk. And he's backing up. He backs up to the sidewalk. Now, they walk up to him or they walk past him. And one of them leans over a little or it appears that he may have leaned over a little and said, get that or enough with the phone in my face and slaps it. And when he slaps the phone, they jump on him to arrest him. Not realizing that the phone facing up can see them grabbing him. So not only did they just slap the phone out of his hand, then they thought, oh, he's not recording, and they grab him. But the video caught them going after him, in, or the phone caught that, and it's recording. So I just want to add, because I do cop watching, many of you who watch my videos do cop watching, or are interested in cop watching, and I will tell you this, they will walk up to you and go, hey, you're too close, man, back up. 
They will walk across to you and go, now you're impeding my investigation. You need to back up. Well, I was standing way over here. You walked over to me. You know what I mean? You walked closer to me. Uh, they will tell you that, you know, you're not at a reasonable distance. You're still too close. You know, you should be 85 feet, not 50. Um, but not knowing that law enforcement officers are there to enforce law. That reasonable distance bullshit, they're there to enforce law. If you're not interfering, delaying, or obstructing, you are at a reasonable distance. That's the reasonable distance. Not this fucking, you need to be 100 feet away, man, because I'm, I, I know you're taking my attention away. Why? Because I'm 50 feet away? That car that just passed you at 15 feet, they didn't take your attention away. That pedestrian that just walked by eight feet from you, they didn't take your attention away. How am I taking your attention away at 50 feet away or 30 feet away? Oh, because I have a camera. I get it, and I'm recording you, and you don't like that. That's why. So all you cops that watch my videos, you can get upset at me, but I'm telling you, as law enforcement officers, the only law you're enforcing at that time should be, am I interfering, delaying, or obstructing? Interfering means I'm actually interfering, not I'm standing there like this. Well, I have to watch to see what you're doing. You can see what I'm doing, dick face. I'm recording you with a camera. But the cops don't like that, and so they didn't like this guy. They... they put charges on him and they'll probably stick why because that's what oh yeah 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 let's go ahead we can't uh we can't drop these charges because we'll look stupid um so yeah they're gonna charge this guy probably but you see in the video he was backing up to the sidewalk he did obey their commands they walked up to him and said the phone was in their face None of this looks good on the police department. This really stinks of corruption. Um, of course, I don't know how corrupt is the Miami Police Department. I'm sure Miami, city of Miami, if it's like LAPD or New York NYPD or New Orleans PD or any huge city, they've got to have corruption and dirt in that police department. There has to be. They're just. I mean, I, I hate to say that because it sounds so judgmental, but it is what we've seen time and time and time and time again in these big cities and these metropolitans that there's dirt and corruption in the police departments and everybody turns their head and everybody justifies each other and everybody says, well, you know, the cops, they, you know, they were scared and they kept having to look back at the guy and he was yelling and because, you know, free speech is OK unless it scares us because then we fear for our lives and we have to do something. I mean, even if I'm on the sidewalk with my camera and I go, boo, they pull their gun out and go, oh, I fear for my life, man. You scared the shit out of me. Don't do that. Um, <clears throat> I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. I got to go. I got to go. Thank you for watching. It's Thumbs Up Thursday. Or actually, is it Throwback Thursday? I'm going to say throwback. Give me some of your throwbacks from the 80s. I love my 80s. Community Leo Watch, let you know what's going on with Leos across your nation. And this is what's going on in Miami, Florida. Three cops walked up to a guy, slapped his camera, and then jumped on him. And now they're charging him. Let me know what you guys think.